oh hey how you doing folks this is this is tim black welcome to tim black tv i'm just going over all my love letters to the police uh, especially after the verdict of the uh ex fullerton police department guys the uh jay cicinelli and manuel ramos those guys are fantastic don't you love those guys epic i mean beautiful beautiful police officers great peaceful peace you know service providers to their community I love what they did with Kelly Thomas. I don't know if you guys are aware of it. Now, now you, you know my stance on police. I just love them. Love them, love them, love them. Never miss an opportunity to send them glowing praises in my videos. If you're unfamiliar with the Kelly Thomas case, <clears throat> he's a homeless guy in Fullerton, California, who was killed um, back in July 5th, 2011, where the uh, cops tased him a total of about 12 times, four, four in the chest where you should never taser anyone, and eight times in the body. All because uh, they wanted to arrest him because he was suspected, but not identified by an anonymous source that he may have been trying door handles on some cars. Never identified, never. That was, that was why they detained him, that's why they questioned him, and, that's, and then half an hour later he was dead. Brain did. Um, what's amazing is that the jury came back with a not guilty verdict for both Cicinelli and Mr. Ramos um, on the charges of manslaughter and second degree murder. Uh, they found no way to, to tie the cops to the murder of uh, Mr. Thomas, though he was brain dead and he died from a lack of oxygen to the brain, <clears throat> even though there's a 30 minute video quote on surveillance film that I'm going to link you to in the description of where the cops pretty much about four or five cops stood on his chest for about a good 15 minutes. And in the video, you can hear him clearly say, they're killing me, daddy, daddy, please, they're killing me, daddy, 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 oh my God, God, please help me, they're killing me, daddy, daddy. I can't remember if it was Ramos or if it was Susanelli, Cicinelli who said that my taser ran out, so I smashed his face to hell. But the jurors didn't have enough to say that what the cops did caused the death of Kelly Thomas. Six cops, one homeless man unarmed. It took six cops to kill him. Oh, he's resisting arrest. No, he was resisting being killed. That's what human beings tend to do. When they're being killed, we, we don't want to die. And occasionally, unfortunately for police officers, when a person is being killed, they may try not to die. You know, another thing, another thing I want to say to all the people out there who, who comment on videos such as this, I know it's going to be at least a couple of you. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of thumbs up on this video. But I'm also going to get a lot of folks who are going to say, oh, but all cops aren't bad. They're not all monsters. To those people, I'd like to say, all citizens aren't monsters either. And we would like it if police officers treated us that way. <laughs> Many more citizens die at the hand of in the hands of cops than cops die in the line of duty. Though, in our pop culture, it is prominently displayed how cops have such a dangerous job. No, it is us, these citizens, who are most at danger. And I've said in previous videos, it'd be very nice for us not to use cops. Do not phone cops in cases of domestic disputes. They can't be handled by someone leaving. Just fucking leave. Things quickly escalate when cops come on the scene, as in Mr. Ramos, who I really thought should have received that, that second degree murder charge. As he said, putting on yellow gloves. Do you see my fist? And then Thomas, he said, yeah, what about him? He said, I'm about to fuck you up. He's a man of his word because they did fuck Kelly Thomas up. They fucked him up so much that he was unconscious on the scene and five days later he still hadn't regained consciousness and um, he was ruled dead. If a citizen told another citizen, I'm going to fuck you up, and then that citizen ended up fucked up, we'd say, yeah, there was malice there. But we see there's a significant double standard in the way justice is handled in the United States. Yes, it is. Because a cop can say, I'm going to hurt you. 
hurt you, and then they say, oh, he's just doing his job when he hurts you. Him hurting you was a byproduct of you being in a free country on a free public place, minding your business. Now, Mr. Thomas was not caught doing any wrongdoing. He was not caught actually touching door handles. And for all we know, this may not even have been the person that the anonymous caller identified as touching door handles, as if that is a reason, but okay. But once again, Mr. Thomas was never identified as being that person. Maybe I'm getting this twisted. Maybe I'm getting it twisted. Maybe it's the Asian folks who are winning. Maybe they're coming out okay. They're getting justice. Nah. Nah, nah not y'all. Maybe it's my Latino, Hispanic brothers and sisters. Maybe they're coming out on the good end of this. Oh, nope, nope, nope. They get their butts kicked too. What about my brothers and sisters? My black brothers and sisters. Black power. Oh, nah. We catch hell. Well... What about white folks? Regular, ordinary white folks. Uh, uh, uh. You know who's winning? The rich are winning. That's right. The rich are winning. That's what the justice is. It's with the rich folks. So if you have money, it's possible you won't get beat to death by seven cops. Because I can guarantee you, if it wasn't obvious that Mr. Thomas was a homeless man with no means, I guarantee you, I bet you all the virtual studio equipment I have, my set, my cameras, my microphone, that if he did not appear to be a poor homeless man, he may have got beaten up, but he wouldn't have got beaten up to this degree. That's the reality of America. Forget what you heard. White ain't the new white, black ain't the new white, brown ain't the new white, yellow ain't the new white rich that's the new white privilege gotta get me some money honey <laughs>